so my videos uh, will make you understand the concepts and configurations required to required for the functional modules like uh, material management finance controlling sales distribution and also with warehouse management so i have made made the series of videos integrating these modules so so i would like to arrange the videos in such a way that uh, each video is interlinked interlinked with the one another so kindly follow if you want to really follow my videos kindly watch from the first so that you can understand it better so coming to the video so our first decoder is spro that is this. SAP project reference object this is the T code first T code clicking on SAP reference IMG so I am going to configure the enterprise structure for uh, material management in this video and later I will I will go on with the sales distribution and uh, other modules enterprise structure so the enterprise structure for uh, metal management is this is the enterprise structure that is relevant to metal management so I have to configure the company then the company code with controlling area plant storage location and also the purchase organization so I am going to first define these things and then assign with one another Moving on to the video. So, in the enterprise structure, so under the definition, financial accounting, let me go to the defined company, new entries. So, my company name will be. Name is so let me put the address the post box number postal code city country language key Save the entry. This is the customizing request. So my entry is here. So my company name is BERP. So I don't want the credit control area. I'm going to do the company code definition now. So uh, edit company code data. So I, I will not copy the entry from other company from thousand. So I am creating a new entry because I am going to do all the accounts needed for this company. So so my company code is B E R P. currency language so I'm saving this so, first term is ERP the address Putin country region region is Tamil Nadu
so once again uh, once again i'm saving the entry going back so my entry appears like this going back close the entry so i, I don't want to make uh, i want to create the business area but uh, now i'm skipping this going to the controlling maintain controlling area maintain controlling area double clicking on it so, so i don't want to copy uh, from the settings i want i'm creating all the entries new entry so my controlling area is let's see erp so, so that i, I cannot uh, forget this thing. so all the entries see i am going to create the company on the same name i am going to give it in all the all the specifications so here the company code controlling area same as company code so the currency type is the company code currency so chart of accounts so it is asking for chart of accounts so i have to configure the chart of accounts and fiscal year variant then only i can go with this entry so the chart of accounts is nothing but the uh, collection of groups so groups is nothing but the collection of accounts the, the accounts will be classified will, will be grouped into a groups and the collection of group is the chart of accounts and also the fiscal year variant Uh, we will discuss this in, uh, in our next video but in this video i'm skipping this uh, controlling area we will configure in the next video after configuring this entries we will configure the chart of with this uh, controlling area uh, just skipping this now no problem going back uh, going to the logistics central define plant i'm going to define the plant so I'm clicking on new tree my plant is also erp clicking on save the title is Let's jump to the ERP. This is the address of the plant. Country is here. Region. So the factory calendar. So this is again. Uh, so I'm leaving it blank. we will see in the next video then moving to the metal management maintain storage location so the plant is erp new entry my storage location br so this is will be my, this will be my raw material storage i'm saving the entry so after that i will so i'm selecting this storage location going to give the address of the storage location clicking on new trees so this is the address so it's jump this is the address of the storage location go to save the entry so 
update already saved go to back back maintain purchase organization new entry So I have defined the purchase organization to. So I have defined all the all the entries. Now I am going to assign the same financial accounting assign one financial accounting assign company code to company position. My company code is B or P. So I am going to assign the company for my company code. Saving the entry. Coming back. So I cannot do other other than these things because I have not uh, defined these things. Closing this thing. Going to controlling. So assign controlling uh, company code to controlling area, but I have not yet created the controlling area. Uh, I will be uh, defining it in my next video. Logistics Central assign plan to company code. I'm executing it. Going to position plant is B or P. B or P. Okay, I'm going to with the new entry. The company code is B or P. Plant is B or P. So after pressing the enter, I will get the entries. Now I'm going to save. Moving back, my next assignment is in metal management. So I'm going to assign the purchase organization to my company code. Check the entry. Okay. To my company code is BRP. I'm saving the entry. So I have done all the configurations except the Except this com controlling area. So if I want to make this entry, I have to go. I have to create the uh, chart of accounts and uh, fiscal area variant. So I will discuss these things in my next next video. So just I'm going to now display the uh, report slash in the T code to re display the structure is EC zero one. So I got. I go, I want to click the structure. Navigation Take this box And here we will display all the company goods I'm going to check my entry That is BERP Here ERP, I'm double clicking on it. So, this is what my note will be. Will be. My plant is assigned to plant storage area and company code. The purchase organization linked to company code. A company is linked to my company code. So, this is the enterprise structure for my uh, middle management and we will continue in my next video. Thank you.